Hi, I'm Amy Porterfield with eMarketing Vids, and this is another edition of Facebook Friday. So today, I want to talk to you about measuring and tracking your Facebook page. You likely already know that it's something you need to do, but more often than not, people aren't really actually taking the time to track their Facebook activity. So if you're just starting out with that, I want to give you some quick tips to help you do so. First of all, you want to use Facebook Insights for sure. You'll find it on your dashboard. And when you go into Facebook Insights, here's a few things to track right from the start. First, on a weekly basis, I would track your weekly new likes. How many people are liking your page on a weekly basis? Also, track your weekly unlikes. How many people are unliking your page? If you're getting a lot of unlikes, it pretty much means that people are not liking the content. They're not really liking your Facebook activity. So you're gonna to wanna to tweak that for sure. Another great metric is weekly new actives. So how many people are active on your Facebook page? So that means you might have a thousand fans, but only 50 people are really active and engaging on your Facebook page. And Facebook actually tracks fans and non-fans that are active on your page. So that's really important to know as well. So track those three metrics if you're just starting out, and that will give you a really good sense of what's going on on your Facebook page. Also, there's a tool called Edge Rank Checker, and edgerankchecker.com is a great way to find out your engagement score on Facebook. So you go to the page, you'll see all the pages you're an admin of in a dropdown, find your page, and it will give you instantly your score. So this score will tell you how much engagement is happening on your Facebook page. It will also tell you the best days to post on your page, the most active days, and the least active days on your Facebook page. It gives you some really good information, so I would track that number for sure on a weekly basis. And then last, I would track your clout score. Clout.com is a great site to find how influential you are online. It gives you some really good information. It's a tool worth signing up for and tracking on a regular basis as well. So there's some tips for some quick metrics that you can track on a weekly basis. If you're just starting out, it's not too much. It's just starting out with the basics. And once you get that down and you're tracking that on a weekly basis, then you can use some of the other tools out there, start expanding your metric tracking. But just for starters, I would start with those. Hopefully you found that valuable and I will see you next time on Facebook Friday. Take care.